everyone, and today I'm going to show you a really cool tip in GarageBand on your Mac, and all it needs is a microphone, a Mac, and GarageBand. And if you don't have an internal mic on your Mac, or if you don't have a Mac compatible headset or something, you can watch my other video by clicking the annotation right here, and it will show you how to use a PC microphone on a Mac, and you will need a PC with you. So, just a forewarning. So you can just click that, watch the video, and then come back to this video, and you'll be able to do it. And that's actually how I'm going to do it right now. Um, sorry about that noise there. Some noise just came up. That was blue on my PC. So, um, you just need to go to GarageBand and open up GarageBand. And I haven't told you what this tip is about yet. Um, it's Auto-Tune. There's the famous IMT Pain app by Smule for the iPhone and iPod Touch, and this is pretty much the equivalent of it, but it's free if you already have GarageBand. If you don't already have GarageBand, then you need to get iLife09, which I don't know how much it is, but, you know, it isn't too much. It's no more than 100. Um, so yeah. So first, of course, you need to go up to track and make a new track with a real instrument. Hit create. And let me just get rid of the loops here. Oh wait, there we go. Um, so now you see it can hear me there. And it has no effects, nothing, it's just all normal. So then you need to just start singing into it after you hit record. Or, like I'm gonna do because I don't really wanna sing in a video, I'm just gonna talk and it's gonna auto-tune it. But I'll be sure to, you know, move my voice and whatever. So here we go, we're gonna start. And here we go. So here I am, I'm talking, and it's going to auto-tune this, and it'll sound really, really cool. And you can even do this with like clips of other people talking, like the president or your, fa your favorite uh, newscaster or something, and it's really cool when you do that. So that's it. So there we go, I recorded that, and now you can go back here and listen to it. So here I am, I'm talking, and it's and it sounds normal. So now you need to double click on this and this little pane down here will come up and you see this little slider that says enhanced tuning. Drag that all the way up to 100 and then if you want it, if you're actually singing you probably wouldn't limit it to key but if you want it to sound really cool and weird hit limit to key that way it has less options and it has to move it up and down a lot more. So here we go, we're gonna listen to it. So here I am, I'm talking, and it's going to auto-tune this, and it'll sound really, really cool. And you can even do this with like clips of other people talking, like the president or your, fa your favorite uh, newscaster or something, and it's really cool when you do that, so that's it. <laughs> so you see, it does work, and it's pretty cool. And so now you have that little audio clip in GarageBand, and if you don't know how to, you can go to... Uh, I don't even know. I think it's share. Yeah, go to share and you can export song to disk. You can change all your settings, hit export, choose where to save it. So I'll choose my desktop and hit save. And then it'll make it for you. And once it's done, it'll go to there. And then you just quit GarageBand and there it is. So you can play it and it has So it. here I am, I'm talking, and it's going to auto-tune this, and it'll sound really, really cool. So that's that. Now you can auto-tune your own voice, you can sing, or you can talk in GarageBand on your Mac. Thanks for watching this video. Please check out my blog at blog.gavinroskamp.com. You can email me, gavin at gavinroskamp.com, with your comments, questions, tips, whatever, and I'll be sure to respond to that. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time.